you can't open a newspaper today without being involved with with genetic testing, with the whole morality of you know who owns who owns the genome, who owns the patent for the gene uh, genome project. Um, are these discoveries? Are they, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So it's a real, it's a kind of sociological, biological, ethical, moral nightmare. Very interesting that we've attempted to to make into into an opera, which has to do to do with to do with singers and music and relationships and emotions. I had sort of huge freedom. You know, if you have a text like um, the sequence of the gene is always the same, you can either set this as something kind of like a lecture, something very dogmatic, or what I've done is to set it sort of boogie woogie. The sequence of the gene is always the same. Uh, so the li libretto was, was, was very fixed and very open and enabled me just to kind of to play literally to play with, with you know, musical ideas. Victoria, you know, I'd ring up in the middle of the night and, you know, say, oh, I was just listening to, to the World Service, you know, watching something on CNN, and uh, there's this great idea about, you know, this body or this kind of piece of research, you know, <laughs> can you put it in the opera? So the opera kind of becomes this kind of dumping ground for a lot of ideas that, that I became obsessed with. I would say it's the only opera that's ever been written where the primary focus is not how people relate to each other on an emotional basis. Or it's not a biography of a famous person. It's not Einstein on the beach. <laughs> 